All right, guys, so we have a 2003 Dodge Ram 5.7 liter Hemi, and we're going to just do a quick walkthrough using the MS906 TS. Uh, this is the TS version, but any of the MS906 series scanners uh, will have the same exact features. So we're going to hit Diagnostics. We'll hit VIN. We'll do Auto Detect. And it may, this is a 2003. That's getting right around the year that these scan tools are sometimes able to detect the VIN, sometimes they're not. So we may have to manually put it in. So we'll see how it does. Uh, and, you know, of course, the the main deal on these walkthroughs is to see what kind of features uh, that uh, these higher-end scan tools have, you know, as far as the bidirectional capability, the active test, the special functions, you know, because that's what allows you to communicate and activate certain components. Uh, these are a lot more than just a code reader that gives live data. These will allow you to turn that air suspension compressor on or activate the ABS solenoid you know things like that so we're going to have to input the year uh, up to 2003 so that's exactly what year this is uh, please select Chrysler CCD connector otherwise maybe you cannot test the ABS or ORC module so we'll have to keep that in mind so I'm going to hit OK we're going to hit diagnosis and we're going to hit control unit so we'll first go to powertrain we're going to do ECM, and we'll see what kind of uh, features it's going to have under it. Okay, so as you can see, we've got active tests and special functions. You also have clear PCM. That's the same thing as disconnecting the battery and hooking it back up. Uh, system check. First, we're going to go ahead and concentrate on active test. And this is some of the things under active test that you'll be able to do. We got three pages. And I'm just going to scroll through and let you look at them. That way uh, you can kind of see if, you know, if this uh, scan tool will be able to perform the things that you want it to do. Okay, so you've got a throttle here on the special functions. Uh, electronic throttle control reset uh, check the powertrain control module odometer now I don't know if that means you can actually change the odometer in the powertrain let's take a look at that because sometimes if you replace the odometer I mean replace the PCM you need to program the VIN and the odometer into it okay and that is what this vehicle is reading I think what this is, like if you was going to buy a used car and you wanted to make sure that what's on the odometer is accurate, you can actually verify that the odometer and the PCM are in agreement or not. Okay, so that's completed. So you can check the VIN and, uh, and yeah, clear the uh, powertrain control module battery disconnect yeah so that's basically the same thing as what the clear PCM is I believe okay so let's go to the transmission and we got active test and that's what you'll be able to do under the transmission as far as active test we'll go to special functions So you'll be able to replace the transmission. Memory monitor, battery disconnect, quick learn, and uh, electronic transmission control event data. So that's transmission. Transfer case. This is not a four-wheel drive, so it's probably not going to detect anything. Yeah. Shift lever sensor assembly. Nothing there. Not sure what that is. Final drive, uh, all-wheel drive. Again, it's not a four-wheel drive, so probably not going to detect anything. So that was everything under powertrain. Let's go to body. Two pages. Do BCM first. There's active test. Got two pages of active test. I'll let you read down through that. Okay, go back to special functions. 
two pages of special functions give you a chance to read down through that now hold on a second because I think program remote keyless entry okay so that's a good thing to be able to do on some of these dodges you got to be able to pull pin codes to program keys that's not what this is so uh, uh, airbag And this is one of the things that uh, it was saying that might not be able to uh, do, depending on gear. Configure for side airbags, configure for AOSIM. Not sure what that acronym stands for. Occupant classification. And a lot of these probably, it's not going to communicate if it doesn't have the, uh, the module. This is kind of a base model truck, so I don't know what all it's going to... Uh, have and not have whenever you see device unable to communicate that means it doesn't have that particular module okay active test this is I think this is the HVAC okay some of the active tests so you'll be able to run you know you'll be able to run the the blend door hot cold you know all the different modes the research door you'll be able to run those uh, those doors and see if they're working or not <coughs> Reset the HVAC module, ambient air temp sensor. These are the special functions menu. Okay, so let's go to, uh, what was that, automatic temp control? And I doubt this truck has auto, uh, I'm assuming that would be the auto uh, HVAC system. Central gateway, there's usually pretty good stuff under central gateway. Maybe a 2003 doesn't have central gateway. Um, mechanical cluster, see what's under that. Active test of the cluster, four pages. And these are all your lights. Usually the active test, you'll be able to turn those individual lights on and off to make sure that the bulb is working. Okay, let's go back to special functions. Two pages. Okay, what do we got now? FCM. Active test. Two pages. Special functions. Okay. Doors. Okay. Nothing under doors. Uh, I shouldn't even click that. This doesn't have power lift gate. It's a truck. Okay. Now we're going to. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Was there a second page to that? Yeah. Okay. It does not have adjustable pedals, so I'm not going to click that. Uh, cabin heater module. I'm going to say no, it doesn't have that, but memory seat. No, I shouldn't have clicked it. doesn't have power seats, so it's not going to have memory seats. Airbag switch. Skim module. Yeah, 2003, I guess, didn't require passenger side airbags. I can't remember when the passenger side airbags came into play. Vehicle theft deterrent. Okay, chassis, ABS. Should have some stuff under ABS. Active test. Okay, special functions, able to bleed the brakes, park assist module, I doubt this truck is going to have park assist, and I know it doesn't have a rain sensor module, and info, and I doubt it's going to have any of this stuff, 
this just has a base radio in it but if you want to take a look real quick to see you know if the vehicle you were working on had any of this then this is this would be available um, the only other thing that I was wanting to go through real quick is whenever you get back here to the main menu one thing I have never touched on before is uh, this service whenever you go into service this has got quick accessible uh, like if you wanted to program a key real quick you could go to just program keys set, uh, set the reset the oil light uh, battery register brake bleed uh, you know anything that you don't want to have to go through and find the module uh, like if you clicked uh, tire change you click the year make model and if it's available it'll take you right to where you need to go so you know if I was to click tire change and uh, might still be able to do a auto bin and if it's able to program tire sizes or whatever okay vehicle not supported for that but you get the point that uh, you know instead of having to go into the module and dig through the module looking for what you're looking for you can click service and you can you know hopefully get straight to it anyway that's pretty much it for this video just a quick walk through of the uh, Autel MS 906 TS on a 2003 Dodge Ram with the 5.7 liter Hemi engine uh, you guys take care